Welcome to Ye Olde Chart, counting down the top ten Shakespearean deaths. Who's going to be at number one this week? At ten, it's a non-mover for Antony and Cleopatra. Cleopatra is bitten by an asp. Oh, clumsy Cleo. In at nine, it's a new entry for Richard III. Evil King Rich goes into battle and dies because he doesn't have a horse. My kingdom for a horse? Shame no one took up that offer. At eight, it's down three for King John. Ill-fated Arthur, the rightful heir to the throne, falls off a wall and doesn't survive. Ouch! Climbing three places to seven is King Lear. Poor old King Lear dies of heartbreak after witnessing the cruel death of his beloved daughter Cordelia. At six is Richard III, again. King Rich's brother, the Duke of Clarence, meets his murderous end, drowned in a barrel of Malmsey wine. At five, it's another new entry. It's Hamlet. King Hamlet's dastardly Uncle Claudius is stabbed with a poison blade and made to swallow a poison drink too, just to be sure. Last week's number one falls to this week's four for The Winter's Tale. In one of Shakespeare's most famous deaths ever, Antigonus exits pursued by a bear that then proceeds to eat him. No thanks. At three, it's up six places for Julius Caesar. Brutus's Roman socialite wife Portia dies when she swallows hot coals. Don't try this at home, folks. This week's two is a non-mover for Romeo and Juliet, and it's a double death. Romeo poisons himself thinking Juliet is dead, but she's not. She then stabs herself when she sees that Romeo is dead. Oh dear, communication breakdown. And taking the top spot is Titus Andronicus and two of the most gruesome deaths ever. Royal sons Chiron and Demetrius are killed, drained of blood, minced up and put in a meat pie. Ew. Ketchup, anyone? So there you have it, all dead as a doornail. And that's how you die like a Shakespearean character.